We begin with seven football players from MSU now facing criminal charges after that brawl at the big house inside the players tunnel. It happened after the game against Michigan on October 29th. The players and the charges they face are on your screen right now. Six of the players are facing misdemeanors, but one of them, Kerry Crump, is charged with a felony. Michigan Wolverines Jamon Green and Jaden McBurrows were attacked after the game on October 29th with a green getting the concussion. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquet in Ann Arbor talking with students about the impact on both schools and what this means for players. Some students say the message is clear. No athlete is above the law. It comes after things got out of hand here at the big house. It was an ugly scene in the players tunnel on October 29th in the moments following Michigan State losing to rival U of M in football. The altercation led to a thorough police investigation and calls for accountability from coaches and players. Do you feel that the players have to be held to a certain standard because they are setting an example for others? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, big universities like, you know, Michigan, Michigan State, you know, big uh, Big Ten universities, you know, the football players really represent the school in a way. Now, three and a half weeks later, a major announcement from the Washtenaw County prosecutor indicating charges have been filed against seven MSU players. The most serious, a felony assault charge against Kari Crump with a maximum penalty of four years in prison. Five other players facing as much as a year in prison for aggravated assault and one player facing 90 days for assault and battery. We asked students today for their thoughts on those charges. I think it was very malicious. I feel like it was not necessary to happen. They need to be held accountable for their actions. I don't think nobody really got hurt enough for anybody to have any like criminal anything criminal happen to him. I saw some of the uh, videos that were circulating on social media. I don't think it's cool for players to like beat up another player like that, especially like, you know, the game's done. We've learned students charged are expected to appear in court next week for their arraignments. Coming up at six, a former prosecutor breaks down why one student athlete at Michigan State is facing far more prison time than others. From Ann Arbor, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.